The global mobile application market value is over 200 million US dollars at this moment and increasing day by day. Many software developers are now focusing on developing mobile apps including Android and iOS. But it's very complicated to create a mobile app. But in this era of artificial intelligence, you can do anything. Today in this video, I will show you how we can make an app for Android and iOS using ChatGPT. Let's dive in. First of all, open your browser and go to ChatGPT. Now tell ChatGPT about the idea for an app that you want to create and explain how it should work. In this video, we will create a simple app. Let's tell ChatGPT that I want to make a single web page. This page will be in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and will be mobile responsive. It will consist of three tabs. Tabs will be at the bottom of the screen. The first tab will be for home. The second tab will be for the above. The third tab will be for contact us. You can see that we have got the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code. Now to check if the code is working correctly, I will use a tool called CodePen. Open a new tab and search for CodePen. Click on the first link. This is the CodePen dashboard. First, create an account. To do this click on sign up from here. You can create a free account with your Google account. After creating the account, you will find a dashboard like this. Here you can see we have three different sections where you have to enter the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code respectively. So let's go back to ChatGPT, then copy the HTML code and paste it here in the HTML section. Now do the same for CSS and then do it for JavaScript code too. Once you have pasted all codes, then check the result in the preview section. Test all three tabs by clicking on each tab one by one. Next, we want to add a list of 10 items in the Home tab. Come back to ChatGPT and ask in the Home tab. I need 10 items on a list. The list item will be blue in color. Items per line will be two. ChatGPT will create a new code. First, copy the HTML code and replace it with home content in CodePen. Now copy the CSS code and paste it into the CSS portion. Now check the preview, it will show you the list item in the Home tab. Now we want to add content to the About tab. So let's back to ChatGPT and ask it, About tab will consist of About statement for a software house. ChatGPT will create code for it. Now copy the HTML code and replace it with About content. Now check the preview for the result. It will show you the updated content of About. Now we want to add content to Contact Us tab. Let's come back to ChatGPT and ask it. Contact Us tab will consist of a contact form, email address, postal address, phone number, website link, and Skype ID. ChatGPT will create code for it. Now copy the HTML code and replace it with Contact Us content. Now check the preview for the result. It will show you the updated content of Contact Us. Alright, I want to add a splash screen when my application starts loading. Let's come back to ChatGPT again and ask it, please add a splash screen for 2 seconds at page loading. A splash screen will contain a message. Welcome to AI Lockup. ChatGPT will create code for it. Now copy only the new div tag code in the HTML section and paste the code at the start of the body tag. Now copy the CSS code and paste it into the CSS portion in CodePen. Then copy the JavaScript code and paste it before the closing body tag of HTML in CodePen. Now check the preview for the result. It will show you the splash screen on loading. Now we want to download the whole source code to our computer. To do this click on the export button from here. Now click on the export.zip option. It will download the source code zip file to our computer. Extract the zip file and open the folder. Now open the SCR folder. You will see index.html script.js and style.css in this folder. Open the index.html file in any editor and check the style.css file name to be the same as the CSS file in the src folder. Also, check the script.js file name to be the same as the js file in the scr folder. Alright, our web page is ready. 
Now we will convert this web page into a mobile app, which will enable you to install it on mobile, share it with friends, and even publish it to the Google Play Store. First, we need to upload this source code to web hosting. You can also upload it to your own hosting. Here I am using a free web hosting tool called 000 Webhost. So, let's visit this website and click on the Get Started button. Sign in or sign up to this website. Now click on the Start Now button. Type the name for your website and then type a password. Now click on the Create button. Now select the Upload Site option as we want to upload our own source code files. Now click on public underscore HTML and drag and drop your source code files here. It will upload your files. Now go to the main panel of the hosting tool and click on three dots and then click on view site. Now you can see that our app is live on the internet. Once it is done, we can go to the final step in which we will convert the web app into a mobile app. So, we are using a tool called Web into App. After coming to the Web into App, click on the Get Started button. Now give a name to your app and enter company or brand name too. Set an icon for your app. When you select an icon for your app, then click on the Next button. Now select the free Android app option. Click on the Make App button. If you are not registered, then register yourself. If already have an account, then log in. Now it will start making your app. When it finishes processing, click on the download icon and select the download free option. It will download your app. Unzip the downloaded file and open the unzip folder. You will see apprelease.aab, apprelease.apk, and a release key. Keep the release key safe as it will be used for updates in the future for the Play Store. Now to check this app on our mobile, we will upload these files to Google Drive. When upload to Google Drive is completed, then open the Drive app on your mobile. Download the APK file and then install the app. It may require permission as it has not been published yet on the Play Store. And here is our newly made mobile application. You can make a better quality mobile application if you give more time. Even you can create a full-featured mobile game. If you are interested let me know in the comments section. I will make a separate video on how to make a mobile game app with ChatGPT. Alright friends, I will warp up the video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about creating a mobile app with ChatGPT. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating!